Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Discharge Case Planning. We're going to go ahead and begin, but first I'd like to introduce student Kristen, who is shadowing me. So if you'd all go around and introduce yourself and the role that you play, appreciate that. All right, I'll begin. My name is Joy. I'm an occupational therapist. And occupational therapists work with patients on activities of daily living, like dressing, bathing. And so we'll be talking today about the progress we're making with Mr. Potter, secondary to his coronary episode. Hi, Kristen. I'm Julie, and I'm a physical therapist. And in physical therapy, we work on Mr. Potter's activity tolerance and functional mobility. I'm Dr. Mayo. I'm one of the medicine doctors on the case. I'm Katie, and I'm a pharmacist on this floor. Hi, Kristen. I'm Diane, and I'm the chaplain on the unit, and I provide spiritual support for patients, families, and staff on the unit. Hi, I'm Landon, and I'm a nurse. Great. Thanks, everybody. The patient we're going to discuss is Mr. Potter in room 262. He will be going home later today. Mr. Potter is a 78-year-old male who is planning on undergoing oral surgery for his TMJ one month ago. During his pre-op surgery workup, he was found to have coronary artery disease. He underwent stenting in one vessel and was discharged home. Then he presented here a week ago with stent restenosis and underwent coronary artery bypass grafting. We are currently at day post-op seven. Surgery is signed off, and I think Dr. Mayo, he has been cleared for discharge. Is that correct? Yes, he's ready for discharge today. I've arranged for him to be discharged to go home with his wife, and I'm working on the current paperwork for his cardiac rehab. Landon, could you give us an update on Mr. Potter's status? Okay. The patient is stable. Vitals and labs, let's see, are within normal limits. He's having some incisional pain, but from a cardiac standpoint, he's recovering well. Uh, the patient is starting to sleep better without sedatives, and he really doesn't like taking meds. I talked to the patient and his wife this morning, and they both seem very anxious to get home. However, he hasn't had any formal discharge counseling yet, and he's mentioned concerns about managing his recovery. Um, gardening is very important to him. Uh, the TMJ is still bothering him, and he's going to need some reassurance going through this process. Thanks, Landon. Now I'd like to hear from all of you about interventions that you have identified to help Mr. Potter. Joy, let's start with you. Okay, thanks, Marty. I've been working with him on his activities of daily living, like dressing and bathing, things he needs to do um, now that he's had the coronary artery bypass graft. One of the things that we're focusing on is that he lives in a two-story home with his wife, so some accessibility issues. Also focusing on the MET level and the activity he should do with his MET level. Besides the TMJ and the coronary issues, he also has osteoarthritis. So we've been focusing also on some joint protection, some ergonomics for gardening since he really likes engaging in that activity. Also focusing on energy conservation due to his coronary artery issues. He's got some energy conservation. Um, the other thing that I have yet to do is identify and order his health equipment. I think he'd benefit from a bath chair to use while bathing to help with the energy conservation and address the, the arthritis pain. Thanks, Joy. Julie, what about PT? Yeah, we've been working with Mr. Potter this week in physical therapy. Um, in terms of his functional mobility, um, he's independent with bed mobility and transfers, but he still needs quite a few cues in order to maintain his sternal precautions. Um, so we'll have to talk to he and his wife about that. Um, his ambulation distance continues to improve. Uh, on the stairs, he still feels a little unsteady, so we're recommending that he continue to use the rail. Um, and I think he'll definitely benefit from a follow-up cardiac rehab. Um, his vital signs have been stable, and he's been in normal sinus rhythm, but I think that reassurance will be good. Um, also, uh, with his osteoarthritis, I think he'd benefit from some continued strengthening. And just like the rest of the team, I think this TMJ is a real issue, and we'll want to follow up with some exercise and possibly some splinting um, in collaboration with a dentist. Thanks, Julie. Katie, what do you have for us from pharmacy? Sure. With the exception of his Lipitor, all of his medications are going to be on the VA formulary, so that should help with the, the cost issue. I would recommend changing um, the Lipitor to generic Zocor or Simvastatin to help with the cost. Um, I think also it should be emphasized the mortality benefit and reduction of subsequent events when we do his cardiac education. I think that will help with his adherence. Um, but if, if anything comes up, if he has any questions about his meds during the cardiac education, just let me know and I'll be happy to talk to him. Thanks, Katie. Diane, would you please share your thoughts with us having talked to Mr. Potter? 
Yeah, thanks, Marty. Um, I've had a chance to talk with Mr. Potter several times this week, and he's really struggling with some, some spiritual issues. Um, I think he's doing some significant life review in regards to involvement in past wars. So he is open to follow up with his own pastor, and he's given me permission to make that call. But I'm wondering if he would benefit from some screening for anxiety or depression. What did the rest of you think? Yeah, I noticed that when I've been visiting with him. So I'd be happy to do the Beck's depression screen and check on his depression when I check on the health equipment and then document that in the chart so we can get him a referral if needed. Thanks, Joy, and thanks, Diane. Dr. Mayo, do you have any interventions for us? As per the rest of the team, I'm very concerned about his quality of life with respect to his TMJ disease. Um, I also think it's contributing to his depression. I'm hoping that I can contact the dentist and we can come up with a good pain regimen for him. If it includes non-steroidals, that's okay. We'd prefer not to use them post his cardiac surgery. Um, we'll also make sure he gets his cardiac rehab. I think that'll help a lot with any anxiety he might have. And we'll get him follow-up office visits and we'll reinforce both his medications and his low-fat, low-salt diet. Thanks, Dr. Mayo. And I'd like to thank the team because you've all provided really important interventions for Mr. Potter. So to recap, we've identified cardiac education with a spouse and cardiac rehab, including strengthening and endurance training, diet, transfer and gait training, stress management, and depression screening. He and his wife are also going to need an overview of energy expenditure and to take a look at um, his activity level, including gardening and his walking. We will do medication education and look into changing his statin to Zocor. Landon and Julie, would you mind beginning the coordinating discharge planning? Sure, no problem. Of course. Thanks, you two. Katie, would you please do medication education with Mr. Potter? Sure, I'd be happy to. Dr. Maya, would you mind uh, switching that order from the Lipitor to the Zocor before we leave today? Yes, I'll write that order right after this meeting. Thanks, Dr. Maya. I also think that he would benefit from a final OT consult prior to discharge to cover those points that Joy brought up. Joy, would you mind providing him with some information on his ADLs, energy conservation training, ergonomics, joint protection, and to see if he anticipates any barriers to overcome his health equipment? Sure, I'll make sure to follow up on all those things and I'll make sure to get the health equipment ordered and do some training with him and his wife before he gets discharged. Dr. Mayo, I'll put in a call to the dentist office today. Is there a way we can reach you so when they call us back that you can convey the information to them? Yes, please page me or call me on my cell phone. It's really important that I talk to the dentist. Okay, great. I'd like to thank everybody, but before we um, dismiss, do you have any additional thoughts regarding Mr. Potter? All right then, thank you all for your work and we'll take care of Mr. Potter.